Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is worsted yarn? Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We're talking more about yarn today and there's a whole playlist. So we have what is four ply yarn, what is DK yarn, um, and we're going to talk about worsted and Aran yarn over the next two weeks. So we're filling that up and you can also go and have a look at that playlist to find out how all about choosing your yarn and sorting and decluttering your yarn as well. When it comes to worsted yarn, there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. First of all, worsted yarn describes two different things. Worsted can be the texture, the process that creates the yarn in the first place. And worsted is also the thickness of the yarn. I'm going to talk about both of those things today so that you can then be more aware. Is the pattern, the book or the person you're talking to um, describing the weight of the yarn or indeed the type of yarn? So I'm going to help you understand both of those things and then you can be more aware. Let's talk first about the origin of the word. Worsted comes from Warstead, which is a village in Norfolk. Norfolk is in the east of England and is known for the processing of wool. Lots of little villages in the UK, in England, in Wales, in Scotland, that basically are known for making wool, making yarn and making fabric. And Warstead is one of those places. Now. This is really going to help you understand the process part of Worsted, Worsted and the fact that this village used long head sheep so that the fibres were that much longer and it processed the yarn so that all of the fibres were laying in the same direction. If we were to look at hairs, human hairs, sheep fibre, sheep wool, underneath the microscope, we would most probably see, I don't know, I haven't done this myself, but you can pretty much tell that the hair grows in one direction and it's smooth in one direction. It's combed. That's another thing that you have to recognise. Usually when you make wool, when you make yarn, it's carded. So it's all fluffed up. The whole idea of making wool and making wool so it's really warm and really cosy is to create some air in it to give some insulation and air is a brilliant form of insulation. So just carding it so that all of the hairs or um, the fibres are running in different directions and they're all fluffed up together. That's the usual way of creating yarn. But this little village used long hairs and they all worked in the same direction and they were combed instead of carded. So that makes a big difference. The fact that these, um, this yarn that was created was much smoother. There were fewer fibres coming off of the yarn. If you look at wool yarn um, that's meant for ferrile patterns, for example, the fact that there were lots of little fibres coming off of that um, yarn means that the stitches really hold together well. That's the whole idea. It's like little claws coming out and the stitches very happily sit together. So that is a really important part to note. The yarn and the fibre and the um, fabric that was then created from it has a really smooth feeling to it. A really um, smooth feeling without lots and lots of fibres coming off it. So it really made a difference and that gave it the name of Worsted, Warstead, as it was coming from that small village in Norfolk. And they created this process and they were specialists in this process as well. Now then, let's talk about the weight issue. When you talk about worsted yarn, so you're describing worsted weight yarn, this is talking about the thickness of the yarn. We talk about the thickness of the yarn, so it is nine ply. It may also be described as medium weight yarn, and most times it will be interchangeable with Aran yarn, not always. It's slightly thinner yarn to Aran, but a lot of times, depending on what you're knitting, it is interchangeable with Aran. So you will need 4.5 millimeter needles for worsted yarn. It's a medium weight yarn. It's really great yarn to start knitting with. 
I would definitely recommend this weight of yarn for someone to start knitting with, a beginner knitter. Maybe you're knitting a coaster or a bookmark, something really simple. Doesn't matter exactly the stitch count or the needles that you're using, doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a great way to start. Medium yarn, it's not too thick so the needles feel clumpy and un uh, uncomfortable, but it's also not too thin so you can actually see the stitches and you can really see what you're doing really well. I hope that's been helpful for you. This has been a video talking about the two different types of worsted. And yeah, we don't really need to learn much about the weight of the yarn because there's so much history telling us about the reason for it being called worsted as well. It's a medium thickness yarn and you use four and a half millimeter needles. Okay, I will see you again next week where we are talking about Aran weight yarn, all the history behind that. And again, the weight, the thickness and why it's slightly different to worsted. Right, I will see you for that next week. Do hit on the subscribe button and click on the notifications bell so that YouTube will let you know when that video appears. I'm here every Tuesday, every week with a new Knitting Natter video. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.